Despite several road safety campaigns, there appears to be no end in sight in curbing accidents. In the following report, Porsche Gabo looks at the impact of road crashes and what could be the way out in curbing the menace. This vehicle at the cantonment MTTD was once on the road taking people to their homes, offices, as well as to their loved ones. This young man, it does not matter how old he lives, he may have died in accident, but his soul and spirit is with the Lord. Grief-stricken relatives who cannot be consoled, such scenes tell the impact of the devastation of road crashes. Over 13,000 road crashes were recorded last year, resulting in 2,284 deaths. These are not mere figures, but breadwinners, family members and loved ones. The Drompoasi accident on the Cape Coast Takradi Highway on Tuesday, January 14, has claimed 35 lives, an accident blamed on human error. The crash was as a result of one of the drivers uh, unlawfully changing lane to face oncoming uh, vehicle and in the process, though on a straight and flat road because he could not overtake a vehicle ahead of him before getting to the curve, crash uh, head on with the oncoming vehicle that has right of way. The accident, an emergency department of the Kolibu Teaching Hospital, on the average, receives between 20 and 30 cases of road accident cases daily. The degree of injuries are too bad. In some cases, they are unconscious. My, all these have broken limbs. In some cases, we will end up amputating the limbs, and the impact is huge, and it is unacceptable. The impact on the lives of victims are telling. Broken limbs, fractures, as well as the psychological trauma will be etched in the memory of victims. I have a very broken leg, and then the shoulder. I went to theater twice now. I don't know whether I will go to theater again or not because the shoulder is very, very painful now. They say I can't withstand the other surgery unless the leg gets well. Before I realized I was under the car for now, I'll be going for plastic surgery maybe next two weeks or next month. I sought answers on the way out to cabin the menace on our roads. The police should check the drivers a lot because I don't know whether they are interested in taking the five series and two series from the truck drivers and leaving the private cars who get drunk and then they will just leave them. The motor riders, I will, not, I will say maybe they should take their time over speeding, rough riding and other things. Yeah, And the drivers too, they have to be careful. The drivers who are driving in the night on long journeys to ensure that if they are tired, they don't need to continue the journey. And they need to take enough rest. And so over speeding, drunk driving, are a number of them that leads to accident. Traffic enforcers, especially the police, you know, ought to bring the users of commercial motorbikes we call Okada, you know, to obey traffic regulations. Superintendent Alexander being S of the view, dualizing single carriageways will make the highways safer. The Trans-West African Highway from Accra to Paga through Kumase has to be dualized, as we have done. We have done in piecemeal in town, but on the highway section we haven't. The intercity section we haven't. And then Elubo to Aflao, the N1, we also have to look at it and dualize it. When it, those sections are dualized, there is minimal possibility of a vehicle hitting head on with another vehicle. A strategic location, we should have uh, what do you call rest stops. The state must look into it and invest heavily into it deliberately. And also ensure that we invest heavily in towing and service recovery trucks. A stringent uh, measures will be put in place at the vehicle test center by DVLA so that vehicles that are, don't, are put in unprescribed, undesirable headlamps are removed before they are given uh, roadworthy certificate. The National Road Safety Commission, as part of new moves to prevent road accidents in 2019, proposed to have commercial vehicles fitted with speed limiters. 
But this has not seen the light of day. As it stands, it will take more than education to ensure compliance to road safety measures, procedures and policies in Ghana. Poshigabo, TV3 News, Accra.